Hi and welcome to another video from me, Christopher at DVG. So this is the competition winner announcement. We had so many entries, um, had over 30, um, eight, well almost 40 unique entries, um, which is brilliant, and over 60 of people who did the extra additional things as well. And there was a handful of people that did all three, so um, best of luck with everyone there. With, if you've got some good eyes, you can see the top of two of models I'm working on. Um, I'll just lift them up for you. So what I like to call the Double D Dreadnought. Um, the build, I'm currently in the process, of, well I've finished the model now, so we're currently in the process of doing the build review. Um, I think originally I was going to magnetise pretty much most of it. Um, still need to do some hair drying on this, make sure they go straight um, and take the curve out. But she. Um, the belts, the way they run, the less I was going to do about four four different magnets in there, um, it wouldn't have worked really, and I still don't think it would have been a clean, clean fit compared to what I've got, and I'm quite happy with the weapon choices anyway. The other one is Le Fifen, the first of three, um, which I have magnetised, um, and I will do a build review um, on that as well, just showing what I've done, how I've magnetised it and things like that. What that is going into is my 2000 uh, points um, of probably Raven Guard, just for the minus one. Um, could be even be Ultramarines, um, because if I do get in combat then I can draw back and still shoot. And if they charge again then they take another double Heavy Flamer. Um, so you know, it's an interesting choice, I'm just unsure which one would be more competitive in the moment. Well, this tends to involve Three Hellstorm units uh, to offset the relics, and then troops being scouts for the screens. And also, scouts are actually pretty good. Take them in cover; they got three plus. They're, they're you know they're solid almost as marines. Um, missile launcher here and there, sort of thing. Um, tech marine is HQs, librarian um, for null zone, and a captain or lieutenant. And that's pretty much the two K really. Um, I think I've got Incessor squads and things like that in there as well, so it could be really cool. But, time for the draw. Let's see who actually won. Um, all your names are in my cup. I said there was quite a few entries, so it was really, really good. And it pushed us over to the 700 subscribers as well. And it is Jimmy. Yeah, the hello. So Jimmy, send you a message um, on Facebook and let you know um, that you won, and also tell us all your address and stuff like that. Um, possibly you can hear back in the background my little one, who's um, a little bit upset. She's trying to sell himself at the moment. Um, so we do have a new child. Um, in my last video of the the good, the progress, and the not acceptable. Um, then you'll you'll hear that I uh, we're expecting a baby and things like that, and baby Pacey has come along. Um, my wife did not agree to the names of Gilliban or Mortorian, um, so understandable. A uh, bit of unique names, and she really doesn't like forty k at all, or Warhammer or Fantasy or anything like that, to be honest. So, um, but it is Pacey Ward. Um, like I say, Pacey Ward, the unsung hero of the Imperium. Um, so he's going to get an army painted for him so he can use it in the future already. And Teddy, my, my oldest, has my 30k Salamander's army or my dragon army, is what uh, dinosaur army is what he calls it now. So apart from that, um, really, really happy with Jimmy. Thanks again for entering for all of you. I'm lucky if you haven't. Um, make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss our next competition. And the most important thing is that you've been part of this part of this competition it's taken us over 700, 700 subscribers which is amazing really really appreciate all your help on there the other thing is you might be wondering if a local club or anything like that could be supported by us yes you can and um, we're actually or well, i've been invited to a tournament i was originally on the reserve list for canterbury crusaders and then uh, the organizer organizer um, Kevin, who actually entered into this competition, uh, bumped me up um, for going actually into the tournament on 12th 
12th of August. So that is a 2000, no, 1,250 points competition, which is a really interesting list. I don't know what I'm going to take for that. It's been quite a while since I've done anything under 2K as a, or under 1,500 as, a, as an army for a competitive level. Um, it's just a local competitive, so you know, it could be quite mixed. I don't know the guys. Um, I'm actually going there tomorrow night um, or Tuesday, um, depending on when you watch this. So um, meet them. It'll be really nice to see how they are. But we're actually part sponsoring that as that event as well, and giving them loads of prizes and things like that. We've been given from other companies. Um, so if you've got a local club or tournament or something like that, the want some extra help with or just want some advice you know I've ran tournaments before um, been involved in them for many years um, been a part of Games Workshop community um, and done all that so please just message us uh, I don't mind helping out and that's what this this channel is all about it's all about a hobby and making sure that you guys get any support that you can and um, there might be companies that I know that might give free mats away or stuff like that you know you never know um, send us some details and I'll try and find out for you but let us know what you would take on a 250 list as well um, see what you would run um, do you think um, that you should go all out you know do you go for bits of everything so you, you can be best of everything and um, but awesome in one area you know it'd be interesting though and um, what you got you guys would actually do to a 250 I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do for a 250. Um, but, and there, if I come middle table, brilliant. If I come last, who cares? If I win it, amazing. I'm just there to actually have some games, um, and that's really nice. Just being part of that scene, part of, part of the local club, um, and support them as well, some prizes. So, sorry for everyone who didn't win. There was a big chance that a lot of you did have lost. Uh, I mean, it could be one winner at this, at this competition anyway might in the future do like multiple competitions with multiple winners but Jimmy well done um, like I said I'll send you a Facebook message um, tonight and let her know you won really appreciate if you get a product do a review um, just on our Facebook just saying how how you found it you know post visual that sort of stuff really well so thanks again for everyone where are you well make sure you like subscribe do all the Facebooky stuff um, we really want to try and push the channel even further, get more people involved in these competitions and just get some decent, decent hobbyists out there that are going to get some extra feedback and comments. It's, it's what keeps us going for these little videos. We're not here to make money and we don't make money from it. Um, it's just nice to, to share some love with you guys, basically. But wherever you are in the world, make it a good one and happy hobbying.